it's great to be with you again today. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about this uh, history class I'm taking, Christian history from the first through the fifth centuries, and it's after the Roman Empire uh, is moving along, right? And it's going into the medieval times, and there was a lot of turnover in the religious elite of that time, right? There were bishops, and then they started to elect popes, and popes were getting elected by the emperors, and there was a lot of underhandedness and payoffs, and the church was getting rich, and then the bishops and the popes were getting rich, and the emperors were getting richer, and they then they would the emperors and the popes would fight, and the next thing you know, popes are getting killed, and they're naming other guys, and sometimes there was two popes, and there was right. It was it was all this corruption, and it was it, man, it was down and dirty. And as I go through my life today, you know, it's easy to say, well, that was back then. That's the first through the fifth centuries, but we have our own issues with religion, right? I mean, we've had issues with televangelists uh, taking money and having affairs. There's been issues with clergy. There's, I mean, there's a lot of issues around religion. And here's the thing. People walk away from the faith because of men. Let that sink in. People walk away from God and their faith because of men. Sometimes it's the very men who are meant to draw us closer to God who push us further away from God. And we're not the first, right? Jesus actually condemned the Pharisees many times for their attitude and the way that they held people to standards that they could not stand up to, right? They made them try to be as religious and pious and and. and Right, And they couldn't do it because they were everyday people. They were out working. They couldn't wash their hands every time they had to eat something. Heck, half the time they didn't even have enough food to eat. They couldn't wash their pots and pans all the time because, heck, they weren't around water all the time. But if you didn't do that, then you were a bad Jew. You couldn't come and worship, right? And we are the same way too, right? If you don't live up to our standards sometimes, then, oh, sorry, you're out. You can't be a part of it. As we go through these days, we need to keep our eyes on Jesus. Because when we start to put our faith in men, when we put our eyes on preachers and TV evangelists and the church, sometimes people fail and then, well, then people get hurt and people turn away and don't want to be a part of Christianity anymore. And you see, Christianity, the faith, is having a relationship with Jesus. It's not about organized religion. It's not about if you come to church on Sunday. It's not about how much money you put in the plate. It's about our relationship with the only one, Jesus, the Messiah. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.